I've got a quick tip for anyone using VE Pro or any sort of instrument that has multiple outputs on it. This is a great way to keep things together and streamline your workflow. So here I'm using this amazing synthesizer that I just love. And it's on my slave machine and it's coming in from VE Pro. And I've got my usual inspector over here. You can see all this sort of stuff. But if I want to play it, I have a MIDI fader. And that's it. What if I want to put effects on it? And what if I don't want to pull up my mixing board, scroll through the VE Pro returns, and find it? You can change your setup of the inspector right here and choose instrument. And you got it. Normally it pops up like that. This is the instrument return for this particular VE Pro instance. Now the only trick here is it's going to default, the output is going to default to the first output of that VE Pro instance. So for me, as you can see, I've got a lot of synthesizers here. This is a bit of a bummer because it doesn't know which specific MIDI channel you're looking at and what MIDI channel is referencing which original sound source. But the great thing is if you're building a template, you set this up once and you never have to set it up again. So as you can see, if I pull our fader down here, that's obviously not it because it's called Diva01. Now I'm looking for TAL, T-A-L-01. Now if I click on this and I hit the T on my keyboard, it's going to jump down to the first T that it sees. There it is at the very bottom. See it? Trillion. Now if I hit it again, it's going to go to the second one and the third one and the fourth one. And there's TAL01. All I do is hit enter on my keyboard. So that was one, two, three, four, five. That should mean if I go here and click this and go one, two, three, four, five, six, return. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, return. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, return. Now when I'm counting, I'm tapping the T key on my keyboard because that's where I want it to jump. Now if we go back here and I play it again, That's where my audio returns coming back, but all I'm doing is referencing the MIDI. Because as you can see, it changes when I go to two, it changes to two. Now, I don't know about you, but that was a lifesaver for me when I discovered that. It was someone online, I think, um, mentioned it, and I realized how much you can customize it. Total time saver. Hope it does the same thing for you. Happy composing.